Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Last episode we found a new area in the Elden region with, due to our fire shield earrings and this episode we're going to find a way to open up a path with water. I thought this would be the best place to start so let's check on the water dragon. I mean we are in the area. <laughs> Going swimming through up here. Dolphin dive. Woo. That was actually pretty cool. Link kept all that momentum. Hello. Ah, it's you. Tell me, are you mastering the power that dwells within your sword? Oh. You wish to borrow my water basin? Hmm. Very well. I've recovered and I have no intention of having to soak in it again soon be gone with it it's yours to use as you please to transport the dra water dragon's basin to the volcano you will need to enlist the service of the transport robot shall i send word to him not that guy master unless you plan to carry the tub on your back now is not the time to be picky about who will help you i will call for the robot Mr. Feet, my deep apologies for keeping you waiting. Let's see here. This cargo looks very heavy, but it's well within my payload tolerances. Bzz. Master Short Pants, watch carefully while I demonstrate what a real hero looks like. Bzz. As usual, Vert, I shall be waiting for you in the skies above. Master, your task here is, is complete for the moment. We should return to the sky so that we can set a course for the volcano. Okay. Honestly, every chance you can get that gives you like a deeper look into Fee's, Fee's character, I'm, I'm always here for it. That line is great. <laughs> I, know, I know that you don't like him very much, but... Oh. Ow. But yeah. She's like, she's like, yeah, I know you don't like him very much, but mm, you're going to have to deal with him. Honestly, true. Up to the sky. That does look very happy. Or very, very happy. What the hell am I saying? Very heavy, I was gonna say. Um, that doesn't even, like, match even what I was even planning to say. Interesting. But yeah, he is very much carrying that, and. Man, Scrapper is indeed doing things. Does he break? Oh, he still couldn't go through it. Well. Have fun taking the long way, buddy. This is the entrance to the volcano. I better get there before Master Short Pants. What? Nice. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's going on? Is it I almost blew my a rotor trying to slow myself out down during the descent. So, anyway, is this where you wanted the water, right? What the summit? You didn't say that. For, you didn't say that from the start. I don't want to carry this thing back up to the sky. It's heavy. Bzz, 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 bzz. Oh no! I don't like how this looks. Oh no! This place is swarming with monsters. Where I bust up enemies like a junkyard wrecker. Bzz. Too bad I've got my mitts full with this basin. Bzz. 
Hey, Master Shortpants, since we came all this way, let's have a game called Protect the Robot. Here's how it works. I'll follow you up the volcano, and you make sure that nothing touches me. Got it. Good. Your job is simple, Zert. You make sure none of these monsters lays a claw on me. Not one claw. Great. Thing that every 2011 game had. If I could aim properly. But yeah, the game, the thing that every 2011 game had that none, no gamer really, really, really wants. An escort mission. Yay. Honestly, this is the least inspired area out of um the game. I, I will give people that. The Elden region is mostly people's complaints about Overexposure of ideas, or no. Overexposure of areas. Ow. Oh, oh. I'm dealing with it. <laughs> we just want to use our bow to our advantage. It, it It's honestly not that bad with the bow. I want to go and see what this guy drops. Arrows, always useful because we're going to be using the bow quite a bit. No, why did you hit him? I thought, I thought if they hit him, then you actually failed. Deal with you. I'm just gonna dig for more arrows. That's always useful. Thank you very much. Even though I probably should have saved those. But yeah, every game in 2011, I swear, in some shape or form, had to happen have an escort mission, and I don't know why that was. I really don't get the reason why, like, the gaming industry really latched on to escort missions as a whole. Like, it's not the greatest thing ever, but it's not the worst thing ever, I guess. But yeah, this area is mostly what people talk about whenever they talk about repetition in this game. So because you're going through the same area for, like, a good amount of time. Three arrows, nice. I thought that was, um... Never mind. Well, actually, I thought the bow upgrade that we haven't got yet was the three arrows. But I guess the iron bow can take them out in three arrows as well. So, honestly, nice. Because that fourth arrow didn't even hit. Want to deal with this? There, I know there's a slime here. Er, why do I keep calling them slimes? I know there's a choo-choo there. Okay, let's see if I have the range on this. I do have the range, if only I could aim properly. That time I got it. This range is insane. That is if I could aim properly. There we go, got him. Now we should be able to climb up the mountain pretty easily. I know there's one guy that we have yet to get on the other corner, but if we go over here, No, 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 no. No, don't hit him. Bad. Bad Bokoblin. Man, I've gotten worse at aiming the bow, and honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed in myself. You think I would have better skills than that? Oh, so you'll complain about the other enemies, but you won't complain about the one that's literally right there. Wait, what? So when was there one up there? I don't remember that. They have fire arrows. We've gotten hit by one of them. Like, really... They, I guess they are a variant on the Bokoblin Archer because they technically do have a new weapon. They aren't gonna burn you because you have the fire shield earrings. So like, I don't... I honestly don't get the reason why they introduced the fire arrows or the fire archers after you got the... Um, fire shield earrings because honestly it doesn't do anything extra to you anymore it was literally just let's add it to add it and it's like okay it's a cool concept but they didn't really do very well on it if, if you don't get what's going on here I don't really like escort missions very much escort missions are normally boring but at least this game, it doesn't seem like you can actually 
fail by getting him hit. At least from what I can tell right now, because he got hit earlier. And he didn't have a problem. So, I mean, I'll take it. Take care of you. Take care of you before you shoot an arrow at me. And then... And one more arrow. Should be down. What? Now he's down. Oh no. Oh no. This is not great. I'm going to use... All the reliable. Let's run. Want to go and see what's in here? Because, I mean, we might as well if we're up here. I mean, what what else does Elden Volcano have to offer except for, like, treasure and stuff? I say this as Elden Volcano is my favorite area. I do get why a lot of people don't like this area. I just think they do a lot with the mountain. And honestly, I like Elden Region being more Death Mountain-y itself. Hey, buddy. Do you have anything else to say now that we're out of danger? Get moving, Master Sharp Pants. I'll be following right behind you. Yeah, it's never the good characters. Why? Why? This is also one other thing. Why do video games always have you do an escort mission with the worst characters imaginable? Like, I don't hate Scrapper. But there are definitely other characters I would rather escort. Like, hell, I would take Groose. I would escort Groose. Okay, take care of those keys easily. Because those keys can cause a problem. They, they really can. Is it worth getting that one? Yeah, it despawned anyway. The game was like, no, you're not doing that. Okay. Because I'm heading in. Ooh. I've had a track record with the Zolfo, so let's see if I can actually do it right. And no. Why don't you go up away from here? Like, literally, you have all this space, and you're like, Oh yeah, I'm just gonna hang out by you. Fighting the Lizolfos. Oh my god. Scrapper. Scrapper, come on. Okay, dealt with him. Easy. Can I have an arrow refill, please? And that is a no. So I'll just take out you guys with bombs. The old tried and true method. Who cares if you had bombs? Do you have anything new to say? Oh, sure it's hot in here, but is it no sweat though? Because I'm a cutting edge z robot. Okay. Good for you, man. I li I like to know, or I like to see that you have water cooling en enabled. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't. I'm gonna take that as water cooling because water cooling is the cutting edge cooling. So you gotta have water cooling. Let's go and get these heart refills just because I want to. And. Heading off. Wait for me. You want me to pour the water on this? No problem. Is there... Did you see that, Mistress Fi? There's anything else I can do for you to be an, of assistance? Just call me anytime, Zert. The flames blocking your path have been fully extinguished. I recommend proceeding ahead. I mean, great. Honestly, like, with the, um, he did that with the grace of a baby deer walking for the first time. Let's go. You are really something else, bud. There is nothing you cannot do. You go on ahead. 
You've earned the right to blaze this trail. Okay, you know what, Gorko? I'll take your advice, but there's something I want to do first. Because we got, we got Scrapper up here. But there's something yet you can easily miss that... Honestly, a lot of people probably don't know because it, it's literally out of the way. There's literally no good time to grab this thing. So, I'm going to grab it now before dungeon. Because that's how I always like to do things. I've done item upgrades. I've done things before dungeons. So, I'm doing it now. Up to the sky. Okay, so going back to Volcano Entry, and you might be like, What the hell? We just we just started the episode off here. Why couldn't you get the thing done that you wanted to get done? Um, it's- there. there's a reason. I'm just gonna go and deal with you, because you're in my way. Ooh. I mean, that fell into my pockets, so I'll take that. I was gonna say, ooh, an ornamental skull. The game gave it to me anyway. Finally having arrows back. So great. Go with that, and we have a little shortcut over here. Don't see any other reason to use this, so I'm gonna use it. I mean, it frees up the area. Let's go and head up here. I just wanna go down. You might be like, Lana or Elden Caves? Why the Elden Caves? Um. I, I, I feel the same, exact same way. If we head off this way, and talk to this guy, see what he's doing. Hey, you, look, long time no see. Thanks for helping me earlier. Speaking of helping, did you find that friend you were looking for? I actually haven't had this conversation. Um, I, I technically did. You did? Hey, that's good news. Huh? You haven't rescued her. Don't look so glum, pal. I'm sure you'll figure out it out and save her. Never give up. Thanks, Knackle. But yeah, let's just go off and do our thing. Elnorn, nice. I was expecting more out of that, but you know what? I'm all good at that. If we head off into here, like this big room that has all these pyrups. Let's just, um, get rid of the fire-breathing monkey. At least, that's that's what pyrips pretty much are. We can find Kobol. He's just out of the way. You're looking pretty chipper, pal. You have... You come back to do some treasure hunting? You may already know this, but Elden Volcano is riddled with caves. You can find them by checking around for thin, cracked walls. You can find all kinds of things in those caves. It's mostly rupees, sure, but you never know. If you get an itch for loot, you should try to come back for some cave hunting. Master, the abilities of your sword have increased. It is now possible to douse for rupees. I've registered rupees as a viable dowsing target. Use this exciting new feature as you deem necessary. So probably one of the most important dowsing things, and it's locked behind being very, very... Oh wait, where, where? It's saying it's in there, okay. I guess it's in with you, buddy. But yeah, it's locked behind a very, very obscure, like, why would you ever come back to this area? It's nice that it's there, and we just doused for 20 rupees. But, I don't know why you would come back to this area. Like, to be completely honest, it's it's cool that it's in the game. But I don't know why they couldn't have put Cobalt in a better place. Okay, get rid of you. I, I didn't hear rupee in there. But you can use it to check areas that you don't want to go into. Amber Relic. So say like, you know that there's a rupee in the area, or rupee grinding spots, and you don't want to check every small nook and cranny, you can just pull out your sword and it can very much help. Especially for like, 
the higher rupee amounts. It's really good for that. I want to go and grab these. Okay, back at the Volcano Summit. 2019 rupees. I forgot. I didn't acknowledge that fact, but it's sad that I think of 2019 as a good year now. Um, here we are. This is also another use for the dowsing for rupees, is you can find where there are rupees in a secret area. And if we were to shoot this... Red rupee. 2039. Let's hope that 2039 is a good year too. Okay. So... I guess with that... We're gonna go and head off into the temple in the next episode, but... The sword on her 10 here... Er, damn. First time I've said Ord on Herder 10 in a while. This is Ord on Herder here, signing out. See you guys in the next one.